Hello everyone, the title of my poster is Combination of Smartphone Features and Machine Learning Methods for Healthcare Purposes, a Literature Review. My name is Research Tabadi and I belong to the AI Nutrition Project at the National Institutes of Biomedical Innovation, Health and Nutrition in Osaka, Japan. These days, it is very easy to obtain health-related data from ubiquitous devices such as smartphones and smartwatches. The application of various machine learning models into such data can help improve the quality of healthcare as well as diagnosis. There have been a number of studies conducted for disease prediction using machine learning methods. However, there are a limited number of literature review studies that provide information about databases and experiments conducted for disease prediction using machine learning and smart devices. We aim to provide such a comprehensive list through our literature review. However, we do not aim to focus on a single disease, which is why we first needed to identify a number of healthcare areas to focus for literature review. We first searched for all the relevant studies in PubMed and IEEE Explore databases. We then screened the title and abstract using our own keyword screening method. For keyword screening, we use words related to the five senses, such as eye, eyesight, voice, vocal, nasal, and so on, and determine the frequency of those words in the title of the studies. As can be seen in the figure, we identify the distribution of healthcare areas in the title of the papers, and the papers with the large number of studies were related to eye, skin, and audio or voice. We conducted the same screening method in the abstracts of the studies. We figured that the healthcare areas with the highest number of studies in the abstract were also related to voice, eye, and skin. Hence, we selected the three healthcare areas for our literature review. This is the workflow of our literature review. First, we created a search string to gather as many relevant studies as possible and conducted a search in PubMed and IEEE Explore databases. After collecting the results, in the next step, in order to collect all the possible literature of interest, we use keywords such as machine, artificial, smartphone, model, features, and so on. Since we have already identified the three healthcare areas to focus on, we screen the abstracts of the study and divided the available literature for each of the three healthcare areas. We then use some inclusion and exclusion criteria for the paper selection and in total determine 60 papers for final analysis. We selected papers if they have used a publicly available data set for disease prediction or if they have conducted experiments to co collect data using smartphones. Another important factor was that the papers should have applied machine learning for data analysis. From the analysis of the final papers, we identified a total of 29 different databases that have been used for disease prediction in the three healthcare areas of concern. Because of the recent global pandemic, we found out that there has been a lot of recent studies about audio-related diseases, which is why there are 19 databases with audio data in the collected literature, while studies for skin and eye-related diseases have used five different databases each. We also try to find out about the kinds of machine learning models that have been applied and determine the frequency of the use of such models. As can be seen from the figure, convolution neural network, random forest, support vector machine, and logistic regression remain the most commonly used machine learning models. The use of the models varied on the studies, with some studies using multiple models and comparing the results, while some studies only use one model for analysis. With the availability of databases, machine learning methods used, and the details of the experiment carried out in current literature, we aim to conduct a study in the future that can use all of the available results. We aim to collect health-related data, apply machine learning methods to the collected data, and validate our results using external databases. Through such analysis, we could potentially develop an intervention and disease prediction system that encourages behavior change in the people. We aim to provide 
the results of the machine learning analysis of their health data to the people using a smartphone application and also include suggestions for a healthy lifestyle. This is the poster showcasing our research and the results. Thank you.